Hello and welcome back. So in this section, we are just basically going to prototype this and see our slider in action. But before then, I just uh, remember that I used 500 for this width here. And 500 is really not divisible by 8. Okay. So this particular one that I manually impute. So let me go and make it 480 instead. 480. Okay. So 480. Now I'm just trying to use sizes that will fit and that will that can be divisible by eight so that uh especially on the web, okay, so that we can have a more uniform uh, arrangement, okay. Okay, great. Okay. Uh let's go ahead and start prototyping. So basically prototype in Figma, prototype is used to change states. Okay, you can move from different screens from one screen to another using the prototype and this is not a prototyping class we're going to have a prototyping class but this is just a quick overview of how prototypes work okay so when you have screens here so that's why it's advisable to do a lot of things once you have something that's going to be touchable clickable right you want to make sure you design it using frames don't use a button uh, don't use rectangles for it make sure you design it using frames once you have something that is going to be clickable or once you have something like a container make sure you use frame so if i have like uh, a container here let's call this this container let's go ahead and just give it red and uh, i have another container here control d and let's go green and i have another one here control d control d oops okay control d what's going on uh let me select it again let me do control D. Okay. So let's go ahead and make that one. Oh, it was actually duplicating the colors. I uh, was under colors. So basically, let's say we have this uh, three frames and we want to find a way to move from this frame to this frame and to this frame or to basically change the frames as we progress. What we can do is to now create a button. We can create a button and then this button now, okay, when we create this button, we can now give it an action we can now trigger it and say uh when i click i want you to move to this one this green one and also when i click i want to, if i click on this one on the green i want you to move to this one so that a uh, process of telling it what you want it to do how you want to drive that action how you want to trigger it right we have three different types so let's move to the prototype panel now so when you're on the prototype panel, you can see where we have interaction. Right now, it's showing nothing, okay? So like I said, we have different types of triggers. So if you click on this, and once you're on the prototype panel, you notice that anything you click on is going to have these dots with a plus sign, okay? If I go back to design, I won't see them. I won't see them. So you want to make sure you're on the prototype. I don't want you to be on the design and send in a message and say it's not working. <laughs> okay that's just a joke by the way so i want to make sure you on prototype once you're on prototype you see everything becomes you have you start having all these points you know all these points here now the idea is you want to select whatever it is that's going to trigger that action okay whatever it is that's going to trigger trigger that action you want to select it you want to select it like this one now you can now pick whatever any one you pick it's, it's the same it's still on this okay so you now want to click hold and drag to this if i want when i click on this to move to green i'll stop here if i want it to be on the blue i will keep moving till i get to the blue okay so for now let's take a look at the blue for instance now once you do this you are going to notice this uh this uh, fly out menu come out the first thing is going to ask you is how do you want it to be triggered do you want it to be on click on drag while hovering while pressing now forget about all these things like i told you guys this is not a, a prototyping class we're going to have a prototyping class but for now the only thing i want you to take note of is on click and also while hovering leave the rest on click while hovering and none okay so on click basically means when that uh, particular button is clicked on right while Hovering is when you hover on the element. So let's go ahead and choose on click. So with on click now, um, you can move it. That means when this is happening, you should want you want it to be on click. Once they click here, it moves to this. Now the movement, how is it going to happen? Do you want it to just you know change instantly? This is where you control it. Do you want it to dissolve? Do you want it to move in, move out, or you know? 
if you wanted to use smart animate now this is a figma feature smart animate that creates like a more smoother transition between the two we're going to learn smart animate as well okay so it's a, a class on its own right but for now just know that we want to use smart animate or instant if if it's just basic that you can use move in move out but for now i want to take note of smart animate later on we'll have a class on smart animate okay for now this is just what i want you to know so basically to move from one screen to another you want to use on click or okay on click to move but if you want a situation whereby when you hover you should swap to that screen then you use on hover but for now we want to use on click okay and want to for the way they move we don't want it instant we want smart animation so i'm just going to go ahead and select everything here and click on delete now it's also a little bit different when you are working with uh when you're working with components okay so on components you are going to see uh, some little changes it's just going to tell you you know it's going to, it's going to change basically uh so let's come here now what i want you to do is to just we're going to select all these buttons and drag it to the appropriate slide now with figma variables there are easy ways to do this but in this uh boot camp we're not going to be looking at the variables right you can study that at your own time okay uh this is how a lot of people still do their prototypes so don't worry about variables in fact in the real world most people don't even bother about this prototype once you're done with this design developers you know set up some simple uh testing environment to code it because at the end of the day if you really want to get reuser feedback you want to do some simple prototyping you know code up some things and install plugins like hot jar and the rest so you can actually get reuser feedback and uh yeah but learning prototype is not a bad thing we will learn prototype okay and so let's go ahead let me select this so since this is a safety first screen no much no deal so we're not selecting this but let me go ahead and double click and make sure i select this guy right here and i'm going to drag it to this one okay and for on click and you can see it's changed to not navigate now if you are dealing with different screens that like normal frames it's going to change it's going to be navigate but when you are dealing with uh, component set it's going to be changed to so change to yes that is correct for the instant want to choose smart animate and for the easing i want you to go ahead and choose easy in out now don't worry about all these things just select easy in out okay and we're going to once you've done this figma is going to remember this so all you need to do is to be dragging and changing so let's go ahead and select now it's important you select the whole button don't come and select just this when you select only this that means that will only be the point of trigger so we want to select the whole container uh, the, that button okay and let's move it here keep make sure you keep dragging until it gets there okay perfect now in some there are some cases where you have a lot of screen you might not you can just drag it to here and then come in here and select we're going to try that okay so we are done with this two now we want to come down to this two so remember from here from this you want to move to this okay so you want to move to this and from here you want to move to this okay now on this screen safety first nothing is happening there okay safety first yes you want to move to that first screen but you can see i've zoomed in already so it's going to be it's not going to be very convenient to start dragging things in here so i'm just going to drop it here and instead i can choose from here and say it should go to safety first you can see it has moved and body budget body i can just drop and drag here now with this done we are done with this particular project okay all what we need to do is to get in our frame that's our main frame now desktop let's call this feature section okay let's call this feature section feature section let's come back to design okay so you can actually design feature section And we want to go to assets and once we go to assets we'll see the feature slider so let's select it and drop it right there and let's enter it appropriately awesome now let's click on this to preview your prototype or to preview your design remember yesterday we talked about previewing it on the phone right but if you want to preview it on system all you need to do is to come in here 
and let's go and click on present you can use preview and it will show on figma but i want it to show on a full screen so let's click on present so if you click on present it's going to load it right there and voila it has loaded and now what you can actually see is when i click on budget friendly budget body you can see it swaps to budget body and if i click on fast transfer it swaps to fast transfer so basically this is uh it's the same concept, but you can see we've done it a little bit different. So if you're here, as usual, congratulations and see you in the next class.